Big stream tonight, big stream indeed, because we are going to start right off the bat, opening up our top 100 monthly weekend league rewards from the month of February. Okay, month of February, we were able to finish inside the top 100 again for the month, so that's clutch. I'm gonna pull up the rewards that we get here. Uh, we get some pretty good rewards, so we'll go through, I'll, ex I'll explain what the rewards are in a second. New YouTube video literally just went live about 10 minutes before the stream, not even before then, literally as the video went live, I put, I booted up here, uh, exclamation point, new vid in the chat to see it. It was a gameplay from last night. So go check that out if you so desire, and please do, It's a pretty. it was a pretty good game. Let's pull up these rewards here real quick. So for the month of February, for finishing inside the top 100, we get two touchdown packs, three ultimate legend fantasy packs, and then a fire fantasy pack, which contains one of three 95 plus overall players, including one guaranteed full ultimate legend. So that's actually, that is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Also, as you guys can see, we have these new backyard ballers in the game. It's just a bunch of out of position cards that they put in the game. Two of them right there, as you see, halfback Micah Parsons, strong safety Jimmy Graham, who will 100% be on our team regardless because he's six foot seven and is an absolute monster. Let's go ahead and let's get it started in here. Let's get it started in here. Also, they have a 94 QB, Stephon Gilmore. They have like a middle linebacker, Tyreek Hill in this quarterback, Joe Mixon. Kind of saw that one coming after throwing a touchdown in the Super Bowl. And yeah, I should be waiting to do this tomorrow, but honestly, the Ultimate Legends for tomorrow kind of stink. So we're not going to waste any more time. I'm probably not even going to pull a limited time card is what we're hoping for. There's also one limited time card that's in packs too. It's a wide receiver, Ricky Williams. So yeah. Here we go, a new currency, we got paint, okay? Don't really uh, care, and there are our rewards. Top 100, two tutties, three ultimate legend fantasy packs. These packs suck, by the way. And then our fire fantasy pack to top things off. Our backyard ballers, welcome pack. Welcome to the backyard, boys. Welcome to the backyard. Nothing, cool, don't care, all right. Here we go. Can we pull something good? We get a guaranteed 97 overall. So that's something. So there's three limited time cards and packs, but we get a guaranteed 97 out of all this because of the uh, ultimate legend guarantee. So that is pretty sick. Yeah, I know. I got a lot of packs here, blah, 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 blah. But these are the packs we're opening. Right? Mia. Weekend League. Top 100 rewards. We're starting out with an 86 Charles Woodson. Hopefully he gets an upgrade soon for my Raiders team team. This is a full legend. No, it's not. It's an 88 Brandon Marshall. It's all right, it's all right. And that pack kind of stunk, kind of stunk, not gonna lie. Pack number two of the touchdown variety. Can we pull something glitchy? We get another uh, low legend there. 89 Vince Young, okay, I'll take that. Jamal Agnew and Debo. Yeah. All right. Touchdown packs suck. My Spotify. Oh, I thought my Spotify was playing. Oh, it's just changing songs. So. All right. Moving on then. Ultimate Legends Fantasy Packs. These packs stink. The one time I opened them, they stunk. They were not good. I expect no better here in this pack opening and hopefully I just jinx myself so we get a Joey Burr we have three picks in this round okay and then the second round 87 I hate this animation it reveals the legend way too early it sucks a 90 Marshawn Lattimore 87 Andre Johnson and 87 Mean Joe Green damn we are not even gonna take we are not even taking the ultimate oh yeah we get two picks duh I thought we only had one in this round. I forgot. Uh, let's just go Mean Joe Green. Yeah. These packs stink. We, we get three of these, man. I mean, uh, gross. All right. Two more. Two more. Can we pull a full one in these packs? We get a guaranteed full one. Can we get a full one out of the actual UL packs? That would be sick. 
All right, 87 Michael Vick, 87 Ray Lewis, 87 Keyshawn Johnson, and this is a Super Bowl card, 88 Jared Goff. We'll take the two quarterbacks. Yikes, 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 yikes. This is what you get. This is what you get for placing inside the top 100 for the month. Everyone, literally everyone in the top 100 as we get a coin card. Please be a good one. 81, okay. Literally everyone in the top 100, despite where you finish, gets the same rewards. It's kind of crazy. I think it should be different. I think it should be if you are the first, you're the best in the month, you should get the best rewards. And then all the way down until 100 where it's not as good. But... It's a very, that's a very nitpicky thing. It's a very nitpicky thing as we get our first legend here, Mike Ditka. This is a Gridiron Guardian car, a kicker. Okay. And we got here Deontay Johnson and a 91 Hunter, Phil Sims. Okay. We'll just go ahead and we'll take both Ultimate Legend pieces there. Guys, those packs were absolute dog shit. Absolute doggy water. At least we got 18K out of that one there. But now we get to the Fire Fantasy Pack. One of three cards. One of them will be a guaranteed 97 card. Can we pull something greater? As we get... Hey! Limited time! Ricky Williams! Wide receiver. Okay. I will take it. Huge dub. Big time dub. Cameron Jordan, our guaranteed ultimate legend, is Chad Ocho single. That don't matter because we take in Ricky Williams, the second limited time pull of Madden for us this year. Of course, we pulled Blake Jarwin neons ago, at least a couple months back when he was in packs, a limited time card there. And now we pull Ricky Williams. Let's see how much he is going for. He's guaranteed 250K. And he's going for around 270k, so that is, eh, eh, not a great pull, not a very good pull whatsoever. Um, as you can see, he gets Route Tech and Bruiser, which is just ridiculous. And then he also gets two other wide receiver, it's two other wide receiver tiers for abilities as well. So that's kind of cool. One AP for each. That's oh, that's actually kind of uh, that's kind of glitchy. That is definitely, definitely kind of glitchy. I can't lie. Uh, with these backyard ballers, as you can see, they also get some speed boosts. Well, it's a, you can do a 50 out of 50 backyard baller squad. Why would you do that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, boom. Limited time pull. Limited time pull. There he is, Ricky Williams. We're going to go ahead and capture screenshot. Boom. Second limited time pull of the year. Big dubs, big dubs. That definitely saved. That definitely saved the pack opening. It was pretty brutal. But hey, we pulled a limited time card. I had a feeling I did once I saw the animation, unless it was going to be like Jimmy Graham, because that would have been sick. Uh, but yeah, here he is. He gets Bruiser. I think that's Bruiser, right? I know it's Route Tech, obviously. Yeah, Bruiser and Route Tech for only two AP. That's kind of that's kind of wild. But he is only five foot ten, so he's especially at receiver he's not very usable he is not very usable so we're probably gonna sell him I'm not sure if i want to sell him now or just wait and see if his price goes up i don't think his price is going to go up too much um considering that i don't really think a lot of people want to use a ricky williams wide receiver card that's just me and how this game plays i just don't think people want to use him nonetheless we got him <laughs> We got him on the team. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of these cars. I might just like quick sell most of them. Other than that, our highest overall pull was a 91. Huh. Oh my God. That was brutal. Our, our highest pull was a 91 out of the rest of those packs. And oh, okay. And this card is actually not going for that much. It's actually going for a decent amount. 40K. That's actually like, that's solid. Okay. Get out of my binder, Phil Sims. Get the fuck out of here. All right, not a, not a horrible pull. Not not horrible, I guess. How much 87 Vic going for? 87 Vic going for nothing. <laughs> going for nothing. Marshawn Lattimore, could this card? Okay, that card's not even on the auction block. Uh, but overall, 
Yeah, that, that limited time card, that limited time pull definitely saved that pack opening. Definitely did. I was not expecting to pull limited. Hey, we did it. I, I jinxed myself. I said, well, there's no way we're pulling unlimited. And we did it. And we did it. So, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was our Weekend League Rewards for the month of February. It is now time to show you guys what our squad is looking like as of today, which is March the 5th. Now, guys, I have switched my abilities around so much in the last weekend. This has been a pretty common theme throughout the entire year is the switching up of abilities on a consistent basis. And I've never switched my abilities more in any Madden that I have in this Madden which is, uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. So this is what we are rocking with as of today. We are still rocking Joe Namath. I still believe that he is the best quarterback in the game. He gets the Slinger 1 release. He gets the Hot Rod Master, Pass Lead Elite combo for only 5 AP, and that's what we're rocking on him right now. Just those two abilities. I tried out Quick Draw last week. Don't really think it's worth the hassle of having 1 AP, honestly. At this stage, I think just having these two abilities or Hot Rod Master and Gunslinger is the move for the quarterback. Or if you really want to play like a crackhead, you can use Escape Artist, but you're literally going to be handicapping yourself pretty much the entire game because winning with Escape Artist is way more difficult now than what it was literally about a week and a half ago. It's still easy to win with Escape Artist, don't get me wrong, but it's just not very feasible in my opinion. So. We are rocking out Hot Master, Pass, Lead, Elite on Joe Namath. Rocking Gambler as well, which if he gets in the zone, he can't be picked off by the computer, and he throws the ball extremely, incredibly faster than what he already does. The one gripe I have on Joe Namath that has been really, really, really irking me about him is his release on deep throws. He winds up incredibly bad. It stinks, but that's the downfall of the Slinger 1. The release from, like, 5 to 10 to 15 yards is without a doubt the best. A release on deep throws like 25, 30 yards down the field and longer is absolutely atrocious. So that is the give and take with using Joe Namath. So 5 AP on him. Our other AP is being used on currently two post-ups. We have post-ups on Zach Martin and Roger Saffold, our guards. This has definitely helped out a ton. I'll be getting a lot more time in the pocket with Joe Namath. This weekend league so far, by the way, you can watch me in my weekend league live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash dealer. Sean will be linked down below in my link tree. But yeah, I've been getting a lot more time, a lot more cleaner pocket this week because of post up. I definitely forgot how good post up is. It's definitely needed now that we don't have escape artists, I believe. So at least in my opinion, have at least one, uh, one post up on your field. If not two, I saw someone rock three post-ups, which I think is a little bit overkill. Two, I think, is perfect for me at this stage. I don't see me going away from post-up for a hot minute here unless, you know, something drastically changes with the AP or whatever. Uh, the other AP is being used on Jerry Rice here. We have Route Tech and Deep Out Elite on him. And we took it off. We took Route Tech off of Josh Gordon. We just had Deep Out Elite. We had a sacrifice there to give, um, you know, to put post-up back on our field. So we just we just have the one route tech now. Jerry Rice still fries man coverage, so that's good there. But we just have deep out elite <clears throat> on Josh Gordon. And then we have Calvin Johnson, who has matchup not in there. Now, guys, I'm going to back out here really quick of our lineup screen. And we're going to go to the auction house. We're actually going to go to sets here because they just dropped. It is Ultimate Legend Day in Madden. It's Saturday. Woohoo. And they just dropped an Ed Too Tall Jones and for those of you who don't know who this guy is play for the Cowboys obviously but he's six foot nine inches tall and they just came out with his item today as you guys can see there on your screen they came out with a wide receiver two tall Jones 179,000 coins we are going to break the bank and we're going to get this card on our team when I saw this card drop i immediately tweeted it's like there's a six foot there's a six foot nine wide receiver in mutt in this year's mutt he's gonna he's he's on the team and he is on the team as you can see we just bought him off the auction house here he is two tall jones there it is six foot nine six foot nine now he is gonna be slow 
On our team, he's going to be really slow. He's only going to be 95 speed with the strat items mixed in, which sucks. But we're going to use him over Calvin Johnson for a little bit. If he's not as good as Calvin Johnson is, then we're going to go ahead and go back to Calvin. But the thing is that makes this card better. Obviously, he's five inches, four inches taller than Calvin Johnson, which is just insane. He's also a deep threat archetype, which means he can get deep out elite for only one A. P. Sadly, Calvin Johnson gets it for two. So that is also another big reason why we're going to use this big mother right here. Ed to tall Jones. You guys can see you guys can come watch me play weekend league later and um, see him in action. I'm going to put him as my point receiver in bunch. It's it could get pretty wild. It could it's it's going to get pretty wild. It's going to get pretty nasty out there. <laughs> Six foot seven to tall Jones. So that is our offense uh, player wise. It really has not changed around a whole lot. We still have Eric Dickerson too, Cordero Patterson, a nice one two punch at the receiver position. Still have Darren Waller uh, on our, as our tight end as well. So player wise, we have not changed up really anything in the last several weeks, except for, you know, getting Joe Namath a couple weeks ago and then Eric Dickerson as well. But, and then now we get Ed to tall Jones. So boom, defensively. That's what our defense is looking like as of now. Once again, player-wise, really hasn't changed a bit except for one player we'll get to here in a second. A really game-changing player, I will say that for certain. Um, but we are rocking out with ability-wise. Let's go here to our abilities. We have abilities on Aaron Donald. Still don't know if this is the move or not, but we have Night Train Lane here activated with Acrobat. And here's what we have on Aaron Donald as of now. Unpredictable, under pressure. Under pressure definitely is glitchy when you get close to the quarterback with this player. And I have have seen quarterbacks overthrow a lot of passes so far for me. So unpredictable is definitely goaded. Or sorry, under, I mean, unpredictable is good. Under pressure is definitely very good as well. Uh, no abilities on Mad Max. I say a Simmons. And here he is. This was our new acquisition uh, literally yesterday. They just came out with this jimmy graham 97 overall strong safety card you know explain more about him here in a minute we're still rocking ted Hendricks, acrobat calvin johnson taylor mays i uh, still have cordell patterson activated as well so yeah that is our abilities on defense it's pretty much all acrobats except you know aaron donald who has you know the two abilities on him and we run him at nose tackle as well still don't know if this is the move having these abilities on aaron donald Really don't know. He's he's just a beast without him too. So, all right. So let's get to Jimmy Graham, right? Jimmy Graham. Here he is. We hide him back here on our specialist tab. He is good. He is one of my users along with Isaiah Simmons. Yes, Cam Chancellor has seen the bench. We're playing Jimmy Graham because Jimmy Graham is six foot seven with ninety seven speed. Now the one downfall of Jimmy Graham with him being so tall is that he's not very agile. 90 change of direction. I don't know what it's actually it's 89 agility. So and I, you can definitely tell as well when you're using him. He's just not very, he's not very agile, but he is definitely, he's definitely glitchy. He is definitely insanely good. <laughs> using a six, six foot seven player is insane. And also, as you can see, those two abilities you see on him are baked into his card. They are just automatically into his card and it makes him even more insane is that he gets acrobat and pick artist two abilities are baked in for only two ap so you get basically a buy one get one here with this acrobat is originally two ap pick artist originally one you get the price of both for the price of one pretty insane if you ask me this is definitely probably one of the best cards in the game on both sides of the ball absolutely insane he has definitely made some plays for me i mean i've been using him a lot so I've been making some plays with Jimmy Graham on the team. So yeah, this team just got a whole lot more girthier. Literally in the last day, we added six foot seven Jimmy Graham and just now six foot nine inch Ed too tall and Jones, dude. Crazy. They're keeping the, this is crazy content. I'm loving the content they've been releasing. Doesn't take away from the fact that the game sucks though, but I mean, the content is still great. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Once again, I am probably going to be currently streaming as you are watching this on my Twitch channel. I'll be streaming tonight, uh, this afternoon slash tonight, of uh, playing Weekend League with, you know, the new acquisitions, Too Tall Jones, Jimmy Graham, and all these guys you see here on both sides of the ball on our squad. 
Thank you guys for tuning in. We will see you there. We'll also see you uh, next time down the road. Bye.